hate scrappers it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Spiegel Mom scraps and I am using my how to kill a kid with style for the month of January February and March because we are changing it up and doing it quarterly this year and I already did a little bit of work ahead of time so I have taken the wood grain background that was in my page kit and I do have a video up on my channel if you wanted to see what was in my kit I just took one of the page kits that I created um, and that's what I'm going to use for my layout today. I added some gold splatter and then I did some stamping with some Catherine Pooler uh, blackjack ink and this was a Simple Stories, um, I believe it was Simple Stories stamp set that I had in my collection. Now most of this will probably get covered up so I've added it um, but it will likely mostly be covered. So you might see a little bit of it peeking through, which was the whole point. So in addition, I also went ahead and the floral pattern paper that was in this kit, I went ahead and fussy cut the flowers. And I'm going to show you, these are the two sequin mixes. They are both older sequin mixes. I believe last time I checked, this vintage things was still in, this, in the shop um, and was still available. I don't believe brush, Blushing Bride is quite old, so this one is probably not, at least not this specific collection is not available, uh, but you can certainly find plenty of sequins to match all the collections that are coming out. There's just about something for every collection you can probably match um, to what's in the shop, so I will have in the description box below a link to the shop and you can always use Vanessa 15 on everything but the pre-orders each month and save yourself a little bit on some sequins um there these are the two that I'm going to use so you will see these come into play later to start out with I wanted to show you that this was going to be or is going to be my background it's going to be matted on a black piece of cardstock and then I have two other pattern papers that I'm going to go ahead and use. I'm basically just going to use these to mat my photos. So I'm going to start the mat with the pink or this peach. I guess it really is a peachy pink and this um, uh, plaid. <laughs> I keep forgetting what they call this, um, but this black and white. Uh, pattern paper will be the second layer. So I'm going to layer those up off camera. So we'll have two photos that will be layered up. My plan for this page, because when I go off camera, I'm going to glue all of my background down and my photos. But my plan is that my photos are probably going to go pretty close to the center of the page. And I have some ephemera pieces that I pulled. Um, I have some off to the side here. Um, and then these were from a Maggie Holmes collection, I want to say. I think it was Paracel, like the, they came up with those pap, those paper packs that had a whole bunch of embellishments and whatnot. That's mostly what I pulled for this. Um, and so I'm going to use these two papers as well. So once my photos are matted, they're going to come in here like so or something similar. And then basically my plan is to have the florals come on a diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. So all of these florals are going to come onto the page once I have these matted. So when I come back, I will have the background done. So my photos will be down and we'll be ready to start playing with the ephemera and all the florals and getting those laid out on the page. And then we'll come in at the end with our sequins. So let me go off and take care of matting the photos and getting the background together and we will come back and work on the layout. Okay, we are back and I have my background done, done and my photos in place and my title. I wanted to make sure I did that first so that I wouldn't run out of room to put it down on my page. And then I kind of went through what I had pulled in this kit and kind of pulled out the pieces that I thought I was going to use. Uh, I pulled a whole lot more than I need, so I definitely um, am not going to use everything that was in this page kit. So I'm going to start and build the florals, like I said, that are going to cascade down the page. 
So I am just layering up. And like I said, I'm not worried about the stamping being covered up. I knew that was going to happen. Um, so I am just kind of playing with my embellishments and laying out a design that's going to pretty much follow that diagonal. may not be perfect, um, but it essentially is going to follow kind of a diagonal. And so I am just going to play with all of these pieces. Get them layered up. So lots of beautiful florals. I don't think you can ever go wrong with flowers. I think I can put them on every page that I create for sure. They always, they work with any page, I think. I don't think there's anything you can't add a flower to. And so whenever I can, I always will add florals to my pages. And so now I'm just playing with where I want these florals to end up. So I do have these something like this. So again, just organizing the florals. I have some butterflies that I'm going to place on the page. I will probably try to give them some butterfly tails with some sequins since I am going to bring in my sequins and then I have these little stickers and I like the idea of just popping these in my florals. I'm not They are stuck to my desk. That's always great. <laughs> Fantastic. And maybe another one in here. Oops. And this is definitely harder to do because nothing is glued down. But we will start here at least. That come in here. I'll fix that. And then maybe this one up here. And I like, I actually like this down here. Let's see. Maybe I can layer two of them up. I just want to get these used up. They have been in my stash. Same with that word from, they're in a, they're from a Heidi Swap, um, really old sticker sheet. And I would really love to get them used up. Plus adding them in gives me that extra pop of black, which I really like. So I think, I think I like that. So what I think I need to do is glue all of this down. And then I'm going to come back and basically I'm going to dot the vintage things sequins all the way throughout the layout. And then I'm going to take the blushing bride and I'm going to dot like three sequins in the center of all of the florals. So I get a nice little sparkle sparkle in the center of my florals. And then I might look at doing some butterfly trails for these two butterflies on my page. So I'm going to go glue everything down so stuff stops moving and we will finish this page. Okay, to finish off this page, we have everything glued down so it is time to just add the sequins. So I'm going to, like I said, add at least a couple of sequins in the center of each of the florals. So I'll do at least some of this on camera. Probably won't do all of it because this could take a few minutes for sure. So this will just add a nice little bit of bling 
to the centers of my flowers, just finishing off the page using some of these gorgeous sequins. This was probably one of my favorite collections, this Blushing Bride and Vintage. Both of these actually were two of my absolute favorite um, collections of sequins. And so I find myself hoarding them and not using them. I just like looking at them. <laughs> so I'm forcing myself to get some of these beautiful sequins on this page and they matched this pattern paper with the, with the florals so well that I knew if I was going to create a page kit, I was going to have to pull these out and use them for my page. And I really do like how it is turning out. These add just that perfect little sparkle to my flowers. And like I said, I'm going to dot in around uh, the layout just some of the let's see the vintage some of the vintage things I keep forgetting what it's called so if I can get it to not stick to my tool we will stick in some of these beautiful sequins such a pretty color combination. I love the peaches and the pinks and these beautiful sequins. So I'm going to continue that down here through the page and then I will go ahead and take some photos and we will call this one done. Don't forget to check the description box below and um, I will also have in the description box below everyone who's playing along with How to Kill a Kit with Style this quarter, I guess you could say. And so uh, with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.